Romans 1 verse 20. Tell us for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. God created all things. God created the universe, the planets, the moon, and the stars. God, he created the earth, the land animals, the birds, and the fish. God created the beauty around us, the flowers, the grass, and the trees. He also created us and a perfect place for us to live. God created us to share his love. But Adam and Eve were tempted by sin. The temptation changed the per perfect world that God made to a sinful world. Sin brought spiritual death to the world. Because of this, we are we are all born into sin. God still loved Adam and Eve. He still loved us even though we sin. Our sins are forgiven so that we can live in heaven. God loves us so much. He sent his son Jesus to die for us. Jesus died for us and took our place. The blood of Jesus, when he died on the cross, paid the price for all of our sin. We are never too sinful to ask for God's forgiveness. When we ask for his forgiveness, he will forgive our sin. In God's eyes, our sins are washed away through our baptism. We are washed whiter than snow and become a part of God's family. Okay. Being a child of God means that God will guide us and help us while, while we are here on earth. We know that someday we will go to live with God in heaven. We will then live in a perfect place. Go ahead, Evelyn. Being a child of God means that God will guide us and help us while we are here on earth. We know that someday we will go to live with God in heaven. We will then live in a perfect place. God loves us so much he created us. He demands kindness and care.